Now, New Delhi will participate in the Vancouver Dialogue on North Korea being organized by the US and Canada in January. What's more, sources say that India holds China and Pakistan, both nuclear powers, responsible for North Korea's nuclear and ballistic missile programs. In fact, Weon had reported on the 1st of December on Pakistan supplying the nuts and bolts for North Korea's nuclear program. Take a look at this next report. He has done it again and again. He has dared the world test firing one missile after another. The latest in November was said to be capable of striking the US mainland. The US has been pushing for India and other countries to isolate Pyongyang. When the US Foreign Minister Rex Tillerson visited New Delhi a couple of months ago, India declined to sever diplomatic ties with North Korea. But India has long regarded North Korea as a threat to its own national security based on how and from whom it acquired atomic weapons technology, components and expertise. New Delhi holds China and Pakistan, both nuclear powers, responsible for supporting North Korea's nuclear and ballistic missile programs and wants that linkage to be probed by the international community. Reports say the government has discussed this with a group of Indian parliamentarians while briefing them on New Delhi's stance on North Korea. In fact, Weon had reported on the Pakistan link to the North Korean missile program pointing out that nuclear scientist A.Q. Khan was found to have supplied North Korea with nuclear technology through his nuclear black market. Even South Korea's Deputy Foreign Minister Cho Hyun called out Pakistan in the context of nuclear material supply. Well, it's quite known that um, uh, North Korea got um, something uh, from this Khan uh, connection. And yet, uh, it's been uh, over and Pakistan has um, made uh, it clear that it will be implementing the resolutions of the Security Council of the United Nations and for the time being we don't expect um, such things would happen again. India has now confirmed it will participate in the Vancouver Dialogue on North Korea on 16th of January. It is a discussion initiated by the US and Canada and including France, South Korea and Japan. At a press conference on the periphery of the UNGA in September, the spokesperson for India's External Affairs Ministry had explained the position adopted by New Delhi. External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj deplored North Korea's recent actions and stated that its proliferation linkages must be explored and those involved held responsible. Reporters asked whom the minister meant by those involved. The spokesperson did not elaborate. Instead, he pointed out that he had given the media enough material to try to figure out who India was talking about. He could not have made himself clearer. Bureau Report, Vion.